Peace, YouTube. Yeah, this is Nels. I was off grid shed. Here we have a little afternoon chat here in rainy Washington. Well, I found out today, reviewing over YouTube stats, that I've got over 2,000 views, which is really amazing to me because I didn't think anything I did would be interested for anybody else to watch. But I really do appreciate it, everybody out there checking out my videos just like I check out everybody else's videos. Halloween went okay this year. We got a break in the weather so it didn't rain all through trick-or-treat time so all the kids in the neighborhood and the grandkids had a great time. Uh, you can see up here put up some spotlights. I was thinking about this for a while but then I saw Troy do it and I said yeah that'd be a good idea so I got that then I got another idea from a YouTube video about making a light for a camera make my own little spotlights <clears throat> put outside my shed at night to scare off the critters I've got a motion detector it'll turn on scare them off I think it'll work good we'll see uh, I just want to put out there about all the people on YouTube. Y'all have a lot of good information. I really appreciated it. I really do appreciate, will still appreciate all that information. I watch all y'all. Herber Spice in his uh, trailer, off grid trailer, looks pretty cool. Uh, those requisitions for the new solar panels you got in your uh, wind turbine tower looks pretty awesome. Can't wait to see that going up. Troy, as always, you're just moving right along with your house. <clears throat> now I bet you kind of wish you had some more vents in your roof, having 100 degrees on the second floor. You know, heat does rise. When I first saw you putting all that insulation in there, I was just wondering how you were going to survive through uh, the winter. Because the amount of insulation you got, I'm figuring you could keep that whole trailer warm with a candle, let alone a wood stove. Man of many things, man, I love what you're doing with LEDs and SJ. That's some cool stuff. Keep rocking. You're an inspiration for me. You know, I got this entire backyard, my shed. But you got a parking spot at an apartment. You do a lot of things there in that parking spot. I really, really admire that. Rio Super Genius, you do some weird stuff. That let's try this and go. You know, I used to have that attitude when I was younger. Wish I still had it. Maybe it'll come back by watching your videos. I don't know. You know, I keep mentioning certain people, you know, I've got all these people that subscribe to me, I subscribe to them, I really appreciate everybody, every, every one of you got something that I want to see or learn, uh, I try to watch all your new videos, even if they don't particularly interest me, uh, but maybe in the future they Something like that will happen and I'll know where to go to look to uh, get the instructions. Just like I've done for all this stuff in my garage. Uh, I just ran cable through a pipe using a vacuum cleaner. Didn't really work out for me. My pipe wasn't big enough. My cable was too big. But yeah, you learn from your mistakes. One, two, three, four times. How many times? To, just don't give up. That's what I keep telling my kids and my grandkids. Quote, uh, Walt Disney, keep moving forward. As soon as you stop, you're done. Keep moving forward. Make a mistake, keep going. Make another one, keep going. Don't stop. Don't let anybody else hold you back for what you want to do. That goes to everybody out there on YouTube and everybody in the world. Too many people keep holding us back. Just like Charles Barkley said about the Seahawks quarterback. You know, somebody said he was he's too white. He's not black enough. And he was saying how uh, they get held back by their own people. 
Well, it doesn't really take that. It just takes somebody saying, no, you can't do it, or that's stupid, and you pause for a second, and you're done. Now we got uh, Juno Double Zero. Hey, any part of your world? <clears throat> that man, he is, he is just going one step at a time, always moving forward to get where he wants to go. Can't believe all the work he's done. I haven't seen every one of his videos, but I've seen a lot of them. Prepper Nurse One, one step at a time, climb that hill, get to where you're going. Wish I could uh, buy some property and get off grid myself, but there's my pause. Joe off grid, him and his wife building their uh, their dream cottage out on that acreage. One step at a time. I've seen how he's laid out his floors. That's going to help me when I start doing my deck. Anybody got any ideas for decks out there? Uh, my wife wants to lay, send me about 80, 50 feet of concrete slab and then build on top of it. Anybody got some ideas on how to do that? Let me know. You see my first video where I'm starting to get the dirt area? We'll see where that goes. I don't know. Well, Time for me to go watch the Raiders play the Seahawks. Go Raiders! Peace!